Well, well, well. To what do I owe the pleasure of seeing you again, young Midoriya? Hmm. I see you again as well, all for one. As to why I'm here, I just gotta know. What are your plans with Shigaraki Tomura? Plans? What plans might those be? That's why I'm here to find out. What are your plans with Shigaraki? Or should I call him by his actual name, Tinko Shimura? Uh. <laughs> oh, so you figured that out, did you? Yeah. You see, luckily for us, my assistant Toga, she did end up collecting some hmm, blood. And when it comes to those hands he sports, huh? You must. You must really imagine our surprise when you figure out those were actual human hands, but the fact that they were his family's, and given his quark, he obviously killed them by accident. Are you so sure about that? Do you know anything about what that boy's been through? After he killed his family? Before he killed them? Would you like me to enlighten you? No need. I'll ask him myself. He won't talk to you. I can be very persuasive. Good luck. There's no need. Oh yeah. And whatever you do have planned, it's not gonna work. You know why? Because of me. <laughs> you are very confident, boy. I like that. Too bad you weren't the successor. Yeah, it's also too bad that you joined the wrong side. <laughs> I am the right side. It's your choice to whether you join me or not. Izuku, he walks out. Oh, man, that was... Oh, I did not expect that whatsoever. Hmm. Damn. That was a lot more intense than I really wanted to be. Man, did I really have to say all that? It makes me feel, sound like a villain. Or a final boss or whatever. Or may or am a protagonist. You <laughs> way but weird, but right. <sighs> you know what? Yeah. All right. Yeah, he won't tell me anything about what he has planned, but at the very least, it is uh, it can't be good, judging his history. As they go to see Shigaraki. He's pissed. <laughs> as pissed as he could be. His quirk ain't working, but he's like... Uh, I ain't saying shit. I understand that. But... I would like to make you an offer. There's nothing you have besides your life that I want. How would you love your family back? <laughs> You're gonna release all for one? That's not the family I meant. I'm talking about your family. Tinko Shimura. That's not my name. Not anymore. You have no idea what I've been through. How bad I've had it. As a child, up till now, you will never understand. 
True. But I can try. If you are willing to tell me. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Since you find me so interesting, I might as well let you know about my shit show of my life. And through a lengthy explanation of everything that's happened to him up to now, Izuku's... Uh, hmm. Yes. Your father was an asshole who hated heroes because of your grandmother. Uh, yeah, not much more. Your grandmother. Whatever. Either way, from what I can tell, yes, yes. She did decide to be a hero rather than spend time with her family, which is her fault. But you can't really blame her for wanting to protect the world that you would soon inherit. What? Why do heroes do what they do? Did you ever ask yourself that? I never really cared. Of course you didn't. Well... Let me enlighten you. They do it to protect the future of the next generation. To help those who can't help themselves in hopes of a better future. So? Well, your father didn't understand that. He just grew resentful of heroes and you showing how much you loved them. Yeah, that would definitely piss off anyone who didn't care for those guys. So what are you saying it is my fault? No. It's society's fault. What? What? The fact that heroes have to ch sometimes choose between the families they have and the society and world they're trying to protect the society is just going to have to realize that they are one the same and should be treated the same way I don't blame you for what you did to your family you didn't know you, what quirk you were going to have it was just a mutation your quirk gene that caused that. You can't help the quirk you're born with. But what you can do is choose how to use it. <sighs> As representative of your society, of society as a whole, Shigaraki Tomura, I will help you, but first, I need to know what all for one is planning. How I know you're just not going to lie to me. Leave me all alone, rotting in a cell, like you are now. I can bring your family back. What? Well, I said or at least asked you if, if you would like the back. I, could, I can do that with the help of my new daughter. Daughter? Yep, Eri Medoya. You see, lately I have, uh, you know, come across a fucking crazy individual known as Chisaki. So, he was using her quirk to make quirk reasoning bullets. I stopped him. <laughs> uh, you beat overhaul. Yeah, aren't you allowed to watch the news here? Kind of uh, locked up in the moment for a moment. Getting how dangerous my quirk is. Hmm. All right, makes sense. But yes, turns out Harry's quirk is actually rewind, 
in which she can rewind, you know, living things. So, if she were to rewind a corpse long enough, chances are... <laughs> Are you seriously saying I that you couldn't get your family back and start over and your father will be arrested for his child abuse towards you? Wait, but I want to talk to him. You will. <sighs> but I will need time. What? Yes. I will require time to truly, you know, help you. What? I still have to wait. Not for too long, hopefully. You see, the thing with Ari is, she's been abused ever since her quirk awakened by Chisaki as soon as he learned the applications of it. He performed experiments on her. Him pretty much telling Shigaraki uh, all the shit that's happened to Eri up till now. It's like, uh, damn. Who could do that to a child? I know. But yeah, she needs to be trained in her quirk. Otherwise, she'll rewind countless people by accident. Even out of existence. I have to train her before I can try bringing people back from the dead. Uh, and those quirk erasing bullets. What about them? Where are they? Hmm. Chizuki was only able to make three. Why? Do you want to use one on yourself? I don't know. Well, think of it like this. Do you hate your quirk? Yes. Would you rather get rid of it or learn how to control it and use it for a much better purpose than what all for one had intended? Uh, mm, I, um, you don't have to answer. Just think it over before, you know. Uh, understood. As Izuku leaves, all my. Uh, did you mean what you said? What, about wanting to help him? Yes. No, not, well, yeah, that, but... Do you really think Eri could bring people back from the dead? I know she can. She's my daughter. Uh, I'm gonna need more, you, you know... Uh, I know, I know, it sounds far-fetched, but... When you really think about it... <laughs> Being able to rewind living things. She can be an invaluable asset on the field as a hero. Or a doctor if she chooses to be. What? Chooses? Of course she'd be a hero or a doctor. Nah, 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 nah. I don't want her to go through a career path that she doesn't want to follow. That's not fair to her. If she wants to be a doctor or a hero, that's her choice. It's her quirk. She's the one that has to choose how she wants to use it. Shigaraki still sees his quirk as somewhat of a curse. So, huh, he might not even want his quirk after all this is done. From what you told me. He was terrified when his court first awakened and his first victim was that dog he loved so much. 
heroes. Nah. Society failed him once. I won't. How are you so sure? Because if I don't try, I'll never find out if I can. If you fail, the only way I'll fail is when I'm dead. Izuku walking out. All oh my. Hi. Uh, uh, yikes. Jeez. As this is when it. Yeah. This is when this whole weirdness starts. Izuku training Eri. First in hand to hand combat, just in case we, if he's not there. She can defend herself, as well as, I don't know, think of it like him being an overprotective dad towards Aerie. He wants her to use his, he, his uh, scale armor, as well as do clothes, but if anything, she, she just wants to be around him. She doesn't really care what she's wearing. When it comes to school, Eri attends it with Izuku, just not as a student, just as someone who doesn't want to be alone. You know, Inko is trying to get to know Eri better. Eri is still like, I know you're my technical, gra technical uh, grandma, but I'll, I only want to spend time with Dad. As for training with her quirk, Izuku starts off technically small. He practices with trees. And Eri is doing her best, but she realizes, yeah, this quirk is way more strong than she ever realized. So when it comes to her rewinding things, her quirk, the horn is shrinking. Luckily, so she, it's not nearly as powerful. She just doesn't want to end up hurting Izuku with him being in a general area, which she is reassured by him telling her, Don't worry, I got arm at hockey. What's that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Who knows? I might be able to teach it to people someday. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I know. And this months go by. Let's say 10 months to a year. They're, they're all sick of years by this time. And Aries' quirk has made leaps and bounds. Still doing it with inanimate objects. Like trees and other type of plant life. When she transfers to animals, she's got more control of it. She just visualized them as the tree. But now it's time for the true test. You see, they realize that Kodagiri is a Numu by now. So, Aizawa and President Mike have a request. Every, will you please rewind? Korigiri. Her hesitant considering, like, isn't he a villain? It's like, he's our friend first. Can you help us? Her looking at Izuku's. Well, I would like you to help the Mary, but at the end of the day, it's your choice. Do you feel like you're ready? Mm, I. Yes. Everyone's eyes widen at this. As soon as she faces his Korigiri, she looks nervous, but Izuku assures her that she's gonna do great.